Hello guys, welcome back to our channel once again. My name is Adarsh and today we are going to learn SQL Server Create Trigger if not as is. Here are the topics which we cover under this video. First one is the SQL Server Create Trigger if not as is. Second is the SQL Server in a state of trigger if not as is and third one is the after trigger which we have to use with uh, in the first topic it says that uh, this topic name is as to a server create trigger if not as is and uh, it's defined as a trigger is a special type of sort which is uh, the documentary runs when an event occurs in the database server dml triggers runs when the user try to modify data through data manipulation language dml events dml events are insert update or delete statements on the table or view let me explain in the layman languages trigger is like a sort procedure which means that when we uh when an event occurs on the, the the table it will run automatically on that current database server for that uh, to, in order to run the uh, trigger we use the Instead of data delete statement with instead of for or after trigger inside it in order to modify the data of the table in the instance uh, what we have to do that we have to use with uh, if not as is uh, statement in the condition part we have to use inside the sys dot triggers table in order to check whether that trigger has been created or not depends upon the users choice for the select statement in order to retrieve the data from it as of the trigger next we have to use the execute part execute is refers to the execution which means that if we execute this part and after that uh, all the dml statement will be uh, state query will be written out and in the execution part first we write the create trigger next we write your trigger name depends upon the user's choice on your table name the, the table of which we are working on the trigger for then we write the insert and update and delete statement which is the part of the dml in the beginning and we write the sql statements and in the as part we can use the declare part of uh, of the new values after that we write the insert and update and delete statements uh, syntax let's move to the example part for, uh, in order to make it easy for you and make it understandable so before i move to the example part, i need to uh, see these things and you should remember that how to check out the old triggers which we had be created by the user for that we use the select uh, statement and we select the name in the name column all the triggers are there so we write the select name from sys dot triggers from that here with all the triggers which has been created before it will be uh, show here okay in the let's check if you want to remove or disable the trigger you can check inside it so I want as we see the uh, the trigger which has been created before it will show inside the triggers folders of any table. If I want to delete I will use delete or if I want to disable I will use disable button depends upon it. So I'm going to delete this one and for this one also I will delete both. Of. So now there is no trigger inside it I will use refresh this one. The last two are the triggers which has been removed from it which was the latest one. Okay so let's use with the if not as is statements and I will use the select name and uh, we use the asterisk part asterisk form sys log triggers where name is equal to okay and then after that i'm going to explain you later okay i'm just writing all this stuff before then i will use the insert to and it says values so before i put the all the values and the statement inside it let's write the first create the trigger part inside it create trigger then i will write the trigger name trigger name if not as x and uh, inside the create trigger i will write on the current table which i'm working right now for insert okay then i will write as and i will write select Select asterisk from the Canada six where state ID is greater than or equal to hundred and uh, check it what the how many columns are there inside it. Let's move to the select statement once again. So I will write the select asterisk from Canada six. Okay, let's see the last record which was one zero five in it. Okay, so I'm going to put one zero six over here. And I will write the name as uh, Amber Heard. After write, I will write the new name as Many Toba. And after write, I will write the state ideas. So what is happening here in the if not as a statement? It will check that uh, inside it uh, that before the if not as a statement has been created before 
or not. After that, when it has been checked, it moved to the execution path and uh, done, uh, and will do the process of the create trigger statements. Okay, so as we know before, the what is the purpose of the for trigger? This does it does that that first it will use the execution part of the DML statement which is insert in this part. After that, we move up to the, the uh, SQL statement which has been used inside the as clause. Okay, run this part. Uh, execute this. As we see here, the amber has been inserted out and it has been shown inside the US in the Canada state stable. Before I move to the next topic, I have a small request to the, all of the lovely people that please like, share and subscribe to our channel so that it will help us to move forward and we get motivated. Okay. So let's move to the next topic. So next I'm going to use in a set of trigger with if not as the statements. So I will use the another previous statement before in it and I will use a part of it how to do that with in a state of trigger. As we know that in a state of trigger we will skip the DLMS statement execution and will not show any effect on it. See the execution will be done of the insert statement or delete statement or delete statement on the, the current table which we are working right now. But uh, not on the but it will not show any effect on the, the table because of the instead of trigger has been used out. But if we have used the after of all the trigger inside it, it has shown the very drastic change inside the table. Okay, so let's move to the example part of it. So let's remove this trigger first. Uh, let's refresh it out. So I'm going to do try to remove the trigger once it has been used out by yourself. So it becomes easy for the person to work on the another trigger. Otherwise, what will happen that the, the old trigger, uh, the old trigger procedure and this execution will be so on the, the new trigger part. So that's why I always use to delete the, all the trigger which I have been created before. So I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to OK. It has been deleted. Now. So I'm going to use in instead of exit statement. So I will write instead of exit and i will write here trigger instead of i will write for will be removed from here and i will write in instead of okay and i will write the seven i will write as johnny depp okay so what will happen inside that when i have used in instead of or insert that if we skip the insert um Execution will not make any effect on the, the canada state table apart from that the sql statement will be run out which is a select statement I have used inside the uh, inside the as clause of the Canada State Stable. So the whole process is saying that if with the if uh, with the help of the if not as the statement, it will check whether the name instead of as it has been created before or not. If ha it has been created before, the what will happen that execution will be done now. The complete the command we had has been completed successfully, but the, it will not make any effect on the Canada State Stable because of the not if not as is condition so let's use this part once again it has been created as we see that the uh, one zero has been not been not been recorded inside the canada state uh, apart from that uh, the command has been executed successfully on the canada state table of the insert statement i hope this concept has been clear out for you let's move to the next example once again i have to use the after trigger with if not as a statement for that i'm going to use on the update statement to make it easy to for you understandable so i am um, in this process which i'm going to use the after trigger with if not as this condition as we know that the after trigger was same as the for trigger for that i'm going to use with the update statement and make it easy for you to understandable so let's move to the example part as we see here i have working on the after as it with after as it we will not it will not make any effect because it has been created before let's check it, uh, if it is there because if it was there before it will not make any effect and that which i have done the update statement it will not work on it uh, let me check before whether I have dropped it or not. Okay, so let's move from here to only after as a path. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the items to Jasmine James. Let's move to the path. Let's check if I done any mistake or not. Here I was a mistake which I have done here. I was using the not equal operator. Okay, let's move to the path once again. Let's it. 
check it. So it has been changed of 102 Jasmine James. Okay. With this video and our session and there are more video like this on the other programming language which can be Python machine and anything depends upon the your choice. So here are more suggestions to uh, watch after this video. Go, see it, learn it and move forward in your life. Goodbye. Take care.